Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. You are now watching Shahinaz Al Asrawi and that's the English CCNA 200-125 series. It's the complete course. I was gonna stop uh, recording in English but so many people send me so many messages telling me that it was a good series and that I should continue so I decided to continue. So. Today is Wednesday and Wednesday is gonna be the English Wednesday. Every week I'm gonna uh, record a video about uh, CCNA and it's gonna be in English. Today's uh, video is about OSI model and TCP over IP basics. I have another series in Arabic. You can listen to it if you are an Arabic speaker. And there is simply with uh, Engineer Shahinaz where I discuss several topics in English and in Arabic. And they are discussed simply but not in uh, a certain order. This video in a series that's ordered and the Arabic series is, is also in uh, a certain order which is order of the course. Okay. Let's start our video. This video, as I said before, is about the OSI and the TCP over IP models. Uh, I think you have an idea what we are going to explain here. The OSI reference model is a model uh, that the, the ISO put to discuss uh, how the data is transmitted from a transmitter to a receiver and how a receiver uh, receives this data. If I have a transmitter and a receiver and I have data which needs to be sent, the receiver, the transmitter tries to send this data. The, the problem here is about the vendors. The transmitter is dealing with vendors from different companies, different vendors, very, very different vendors, starting from his laptop or his mobile and his router, the switch, the cables, the browser or the application he's using. All of this is of different vendors. Also, the receiver here have very different vendors for his devices and his applications. And the receiver and the transmitter do not have the same vendors or do not deal with the same vendors or manufacturers. So the ISO said you can use any vendor, any device from any vendor or any application from any vendor and uh, the ISO is gonna re regulate uh, this thing and it's gonna put a certain model every vendor should follow so in the end we are following the same model we are manufacturing and we are developing uh, uh, applications and devices who, which follows the same rules and the same layers and the same model and in the end it we do not care which vendor we are, de we are dealing with or which manufacturer we are, de de we are dealing with we are dealing here with the layers and with the model not with the vendor and that that is what's meant by standard there is a, a word here we are uh, gonna explain and we need to uh, know that you can hear sometimes that there is a standard thing and there is a proprietary thing what's the difference proprietary proprietary Okay, here it is. I think it's right. Okay, uh, a standard thing is which follows certain rules and which is standard, like uh, uh, the mouse of the laptop is with a standard shape, uh, the size of the monitor is with a standard size. That's what's meant by standard. Any other size, any other shape is proprietary for a certain vendor this vendor manufactures this thing to deal with some properties only he knows about only he uh, is uh, regulating his uh, devices and his applications to work with not all applications can work with it like the apple iphone apple iphone needs proprietary operating system and proprietary preference to deal with 
Uh, on the other hand, uh, a Windows system uh, is a standard or an open system which can uh, work with many vendors and it can work with many applications without the need of any extra uh, work. Okay, so that's here what's meant by standard. So the ISO put the uh, OSI model so the applications and the devices on the network are in a standard form. I, I'm going to discuss here every layer in uh, basics and in the next video I'm going to take every uh, layer and we are going to explain it in detail. Okay, so the application layer is concerned with what are we are gonna do on the network? Are we gonna browse, uh, download, upload, send email, receive email, remote access, uh, video, real-time streaming, whatever. So the application layer deals with what we are gonna do on the network. The presentation layer here is responsible for encoding, which is uh, changing the data from any form it's in like video voice anything and changing it or converting it to its binary form ones and zeros the session layer is responsible for opening the session between you and the receiver and maintaining this session and closing this session in the end as you can see all the layers work together not a single layer works alone all the layers works together on the same time so you have a very good results uh, on the end okay the transport layer here is responsible for how the data is gonna be dealt with or dealt with okay like what some applications need acknowledgements like i'm sending data and i'm gonna wait until you tell me if you received this data or if this data you received is uh, in uh, right order or there is uh, errors and you want me to retransmit that's uh, a kind or a shape or form of transmission on the other hand there is another form of transmission which is called connectionless and unreliable connection like video streaming uh, when you are watching a match or so something, uh, the stream goes on, but when the network drops, all the data drops, and when the network comes back, uh, you are from wh when the network came back, you the, from this point, what was dropped was dropped. It will not uh, reform uh, in front of you again. No, it's done. So in the transport layer, there are two protocols which we are going to explain in detail on the next videos there is tcp which is reliable and connection oriented so the data must be received in a right order and it must be received right with no errors and there is acknowledgements and there is udp protocol which is connectionless and it's um, uh, unreliable protocol and the data is not uh, received in a certain order or uh, if there are errors there is no retransmission there is no acknowledgments the data is thrown to the receiver and he deals with this with it as it is okay. next is the network layer the network layer is responsible for transmitting data from one network to another it has the router it has the ip address and it has the packet so it's responsible for moving the data from one network to another it has the source and the final destination it doesn't deal with what's in the middle between them for the data link layer it's responsible for moving the data or transmitting the data in the same network it has the switch it has the mac address and it has the frame all of this terminologies and data and layers we are going to explain in detail on the next videos ja now we are just s stating the basics so you know the general idea okay the physical layer is the cables the media where data is going to be transmitted so everything about signals and cables and cable types and uh, uh, distances and everything about cables is concerned with the physical layer okay 
the DOD or the Department of, the, of Defense put another model which is called the TCP over IP model it has only four layers but they are the same as uh, the, uh, the, save, the seven layers here by the way you must know the seven layers in their order and with their numbers uh, I can say layer 3 and you must know that layer 3 is the network layer I can say layer 4 and you must know that layer 4 is the transport layer the number of the, la the layer is very important and we uh, are gonna deal with it very much more than the name of the layer okay so the tcp over ip here just combine some some layers like the application presentation and session and called is application layer but the details of the layer itself does not change the application layer here has uh, the the things that the application and presentation and session layers do on the network not the application layer only the transport layer is the same network layer uh, was renamed internet layer internet here doesn't mean www internet here is a latin word because inter means between so inter here means between networks and short uh, a short while ago we said that inter Net or the network layer deals with transmitting data from one network to another so it transmits data between networks and from here came the word enter okay the data link and the physical layer are related if you are dealing with ethernet cables so you are dealing with ethernet frames if you are dealing with serial cables you are, you are dealing with frame relay or leased lines which are uh, serial technologies so the, the data link layer and the physical layer were combined in one layer which is the network interface layer which performs the rule the rules of the data link and physical layer together so it's not the data link alone or the physical layer alone those are the basics of the layers here now you know that you have seven layers and what are the seven layers deal with uh, in uh, basics okay you must know that when data is transmitted it goes through a process called encapsulation encapsulation means preparing the data to be transmitted by adding some fields to this data like the TCP header like the IP addresses like the MAC addresses like the FCS for error detection or error correction uh, and so on so the encapsulation is a process of adding a header to the data a header is some data that's added to the original data to be transmitted like uh, a letter or, or a message you add addresses so the message can be sent okay so the encapsulation is performed at the transmitter at the transmitter data is encapsulated then at the receiver the receiver needs the original data so it begins with removing the headers at every layer so like in the data link layer mac addresses was added they are removed at the data link layer at the receiver uh, in the network layer ip addresses were added so at the network layer of the receiver they are removed and so on so at the end the data is retrieved which is original data and this process uh, at the receiver is called de-encapsulation which is removing the headers that were added at the transmitter through encapsulation so so in transmitting it's called encapsulation and when we are receiving it's called de-encapsulation okay uh, at, the, at the transport layer after adding the header it's called a tcp uh, segment then a tcp or udp of course and then when we add the ip addresses it's called a packet when we add the mac addresses it is called a frame and at the end it's bits and signals this process here as we said before is called encapsulation and the reverse process is called de-encapsulation at the receiver you must know these term terms and terminologies to understand networks right everything we said 
today we are gonna explain in detail throughout the course in the next session or the next video inshallah i am gonna explain the layers in more details and throughout the course it's called a ccna routing and switching course so you are gonna know in very specific details about routing and about switching and every layer uh, in this model and lands and winds and every detail you are gonna need in this video we discussed the osi model and how it came and we discussed the tcp over ip model and we said in basics uh, what are the layers the seven layers of the model and we said the basics of each layer and what it, each layer performs in my network and we discussed the encapsulation and decapsulation process and the transmit and receive process i hope you enjoyed this video and you understood it please uh, follow my channel and subscribe in it and like this video and share it with most people you know so it reaches a very large audience thank you very much for viewing and good luck